how was it uh, returning to Earth? Um, it, it took some getting used to. I remember um, when I, I, I finished, I, I finished all my motion capture, predo predominantly all of my work on Avatar, and I, I started within like a month. I, I, I started uh, shooting Star Trek, and I, I remember feeling overwhelmed because I only had a month to prep for Uhura. And I've never done that before because I feel like I, I like to give a lot of time to the characters that I I play, and and I was so afraid. I was so afraid. I'm like, oh my god, what if I'm, what if I'm Nate Thierry playing Uhura? And, and, and so I, I took a lot of focusing. But I still remember, you know, I would be having dinner with my family, and they would ask me like, hey, you want some beans? And we're just, like, I'm hissing. I can't. Let me not hiss at you. <laughs> uh, do you remember the very first time you you saw yourself as a nine foot? blue-skinned woman? I do, I do, and uh, it was great. I, I, I remember feeling so happy and excited and, and excited because I was being a part of something so unique and also giddy. I was just mm -hmm. so giddy because she was just, she was so cool. I'm like, oh my God, I've never, I've never felt that cool ever as when I would watch Nate Thierry. Uh, and, and she would be like on the screen and I would be here and if, you know, obviously she's me and I'm her, but she just looked really awesome. I'm like, my God, I wish I was you right now. <laughs> right, so, so you had the, the motion capture thing going and they could translate it directly into... Yeah. and Jim would have, um, of course, and we had so many reference pictures all around the set of everything, from the environment to plants to the animals, um, to all of our characters. And then we also, on every, uh, any, every wall of the set, because the set was sort of rectangular shaped, we had these big screens, huge screens, uh, that would, that would uh, we were there in the virtual world in Pandora. So whatever it is that we were doing in the volume, we would have an instant replay of what, what we were doing there. And that, is, I almost feel like without that, it would have been almost impossible to have given such an authentic surrender to, to your imagination without having any kind of concept of what's going on. Right. Um... When you when you first thought about saying yes to the role, very very apprehensive, just the thought of you spending so much time, and in the end, it's not even you that's ending up on the screen. Did that feel strange? I think it would have felt strange if I if I became an actress to be just so I can be known. Mm. I think that it's a human flaw to to be prone to vanity, and especially for actors, and it's a constant exercise. To, to consistently remind myself why I do this. And um, I really don't care if my face is recognized. Um, I just want to be a part of great, amazing uh, uh, projects. And I want, I want people like Steven Spielberg and James Cameron and J.J. Abrams to go, you know what, get me that kid, I want to work with her. That is, that's the kind of recognition that I I work for and that's why I became an actor but um no I just from the beginning I saw her I knew what the project was going to be like and I would I think I would have been so miserable had I not gotten the part I wanted to be part of this so bad because it was so new it was so different and I knew that I was going to learn so much from her hmm. can you remember your first meeting with Jim Cameron it was <laughs> I mean I still get giddy about it he walked in I was reading the script in, in his office and he walked in and he was like, hi, Zoe, I'm James Cameron. And he has a very commanding presence. He's just very stern and very confident. And he's like, you want to go meet your character? And I was like, yeah. And then he walked me into his office where the Titanic wheel was there and the Terminator arm. And I'm just like, oh, my God. I sit down and, on a co and right in front of me, there was a, a, a sculpture of Natira in a coffee table. And the moment I saw her, I fell completely in love with her. I was like... I mean, she had me at hello. Trust me, I was like, "Oh my god, it was so amazing." Hmm. How did you How did you prep for the role? What 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 did you think was important, or, or when did you think that you had her You had her down. Oh God, I never, I never felt that. I, I still to this day, I really hope I did her justice because oh, you did. she was. Thank you. She was. She was so alive to me. She was so unique. They were so unique. The Navi culture that I, we wanted to create something, we wanted to invent, we wanted to make them so unique. And I remember 
because I didn't have a, a specific idea, it was only through consistent conversations with Jim and, and working with a movement coach and, and uh, the stunt coordinators and the, the dialect coach and doing archery classes and horseback riding and training for six months that I was like, and also on my own time, I was watching a lot of National Geographic, Animal Planet, um, observing the feline, you know, uh, wolves also. But it wasn't, and, but I still, all these things were just the physical components of Neytiri. I wanted to capture the essence, and it wasn't until I looked at my niece who was standing right in front of me, and I was like, oh my God, it's their culture that they don't lie, therefore they don't censor anything, they don't filter thought, they say whatever, they feel whatever is very raw to them. And children are, are the same way, mm. and it was just constant observing where my niece kind of thought that I was so weird because I would ask her all these questions and everything and and uh, and that's you know I just put it all together like in a pot and I'm like okay Natira I hope I did well yeah but it was tons of fun considering the year that you have with the two big movies is there can there be a Christmas present that's gonna top that yes rest <laughs> <laughs> I think I've, I've I've earned I've earned myself a little a little uh, time away Uh, I've been working nonstop for three years, and it's been the most happiest I've ever been in my career. Um, but I've also, I also know that I am the kind of person that needs to now unwind and allow Natiri to stay in, in Pandora and Uhura to, to stay in the Enterprise so that Zoe can start coming back to herself so that I can refuel for the next um, project. All right. Last, very last question would be, what's your favorite Jim Cameron movie? Um, Terminator. Sarah Connor. <laughs> <laughs>